Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Um, thank you for coming to my YouTube channel. This video is about Australia. I'm teaching cross-cultural understanding at Win Imam Bunjol Padang. I'm working there as a dosen luar biasa for a non-permanent lecturer right there in this uh, odd semester 2020-2021. I'm teaching cross-cultural understanding and this time I'm going to uh, explain and share more information about Australia. Australia is one of the English-speaking countries. It is located in the Australian continent. The unique thing about Australia is that Australia is a country, but at the same time, it is also a continent. For students who study cross-cultural understanding with me, you need to listen to this video from the beginning to the end. I'm going to use two uh, media in my explanation. I'm going to share with you information about the map of Australia. In other words, where is Australia in the world map? I'm going to share with you about life in Australia the people, the culture, and more interesting topics about Australia that I took from the Australian government. I found it on internet. Without further ado, tanpa berlama-lama, saya akan berbagi informasi tentang Australia. Now I'm going to share the presentation or the uh, PowerPoint with you all. Um, let me share it. Uh, I will share screen. Focus on country, Australia. Let me make it bigger for you. All right, now um, this is Australia. <laughs> now, um, the word of the Australia is actually a country, um, negara yang menjadi negara tetangga dari negara Indonesia. Indonesia. Indonesia is the neighbor country for Australia, and Australia is also a neighboring country for Indonesia. Seperti yang Anda lihat, ini adalah bentuk dari Benua Australia. This is the Australian continent. Uh, it has the British flag because this is part of the United Kingdom uh, or Commonwealth country. And it has a few stars in here. We're going to talk more, more a little bit about this one. And this is the picture of the kangaroo and this bird. This is a uh, Antelope? Uh, no, it's not antelope, it's a uh, brown tie. <laughs> uh, this is the symbol of the Australia. Look at this name A U S T R A L I A, Australia. It represents the meaning of Australia that it's uh, one of the prosperous countries in the world. And look at the color of these flowers. We will also talk about this more a little bit. Okay. Before I start further, let we say thank you to Allah. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alamin. Assalatu wassalamu ala sarafil amdiya iwal musalin wa ala alihi wa sabihi rasulillahi ajma'in. Amma ba'du faya ibadullah ittaqullaha haqqa tukati wa la tamutunna illa wa antum muslimun. Sadaqallahu lazim. As part of our culture, especially that most of you and all of you are Muslim students, so when I publish this video in YouTube, then the content is not only for you, but also for many other people in general who might want to know more about Australia. And this picture, this is the picture of a kangaroo. <laughs> kangaroo right now, this is exciting. Next, let me begin my explanation about the flag. So this is the flag of Australia, um, Bendera Australia. Look at the composition of this flag. 
it has the flag of the United Kingdom or uh, British Commonwealth to be precise. It has a few stars in it, one big star uh, below this flag, um, one, two, three, four, five, six, six flags. And it represents uh, six areas located in Australia. And the name of Australia is Commonwealth of Australia. People might recognize Australia only as Australia. In fact, the name of Australia is Commonwealth of Australia. Jadi Australia adalah bagian dari negara Commonwealth. Right? Now let us, uh, let we move to the next information about Australia. So keep in mind that the form of this flag represents the flag of Australia. And Australia is part of Commonwealth countries uh, that is located in uh, Australian continent. Look, this is the world. I took it from uh, Maps Wire. I'm using Microsoft Office, especially for the PowerPoint 2010. And I searched for the world map and I found this one. So I hope that it represents the correct information about the world map. If you hear any other voices, please ignore. <laughs> please ignore that because this doesn't represent my voice. Um, now, as you can see in this map, we have a few continents right over here with the bold font. In the left side, we see uh, North America. So this is the North America and the upper part is known as Canada. Uh, United States of America is right over here. We have Canada is right over here, Gulf of Alaska. And then down to the south, we have Mexico, Caribbean Sea, and then down under of the American continent is known as South America. Jadi bagian bawah dari benua Amerika disebut sebagai Amerika Selatan. In the ocean lo located near to the North America is known as Atlantic. Jadi ini di Samudra Atlantik. Kemudian sebelah kiri disebut Samudra Pasifik. We move next to the middle of this map. We have Africa. This is the Sahara. Perhaps you know the song of uh, Sahara from with uh, Angun Chesasmi. Actually, she's an Indonesian singer with the French nationality this time. Mm, Sahara Desert in Africa. In the upper north of Africa, we have Europe. Look at here, this is the Gulf of Biscaya, North Sea, Norwegian Sea. And in the upper north of this world map, we have Greenland Sea. I believe nobody lives around this area, right? Or do you want to stay here? I don't know, this place is so cold. Greenland Sea, and we move further to the right side of this world map. It's a bigger area of land, and this is known as Asia continent. Mm, this is from uh, from here, Himalayas, Arabian Sea, Bay of Bengali. This is the area of India, it's right over here. India, this is Indonesia, um, where uh, Indonesian people live, of course. And we have the Asia, this is China, Russia, and then uh, Thailand, Cambodia, um, Malaysia, Brunei Darussalam, uh, Philippines, Japan, uh, Korea is right over here all along. Therefore, if you travel now, I live here, right in the middle of Sumatra Island, <laughs> the place where I doing this presentation to you and recording my video is uh, in this area. See, I pointed out here. Sumatra, Kalimantan, we have Java Island, and this is Sulawesi Island. On, and uh, on the right side of this Indonesia map, we have Irian Jaya. There, Australia. So this is Australia. 
Australia is a continent in itself. Jadi Australia adalah benua sekaligus sebuah negara. Down south we have Tasmanian Sea. Jadi uh, we, they, they call it as Tasmanian. And the name of Tasmanian Devil is famous from here, from this area, Tasman Sea. This is big, so I think it's more than 50% of areas in the world or in the earth, on earth, I mean, um, has more water than land now. So how small we are as a human being, right? Um, now let's, we move on to see specifically about Australia. Hmm. So this is the area of Australia. You see, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. So six uh, areas of this uh, Australia. In the, in the left side of this map, we have Western Australia. Hmm. The capital city of this Western Australia is Perth. It has uh, many interesting names. We can see here Perth, Albany, Augusta, Narogin, North Semana, uh, Kalgoorlie, Forest, um, Sandstone, Mount Magnet. So this is Western Australia. In the northern part of Australia continent, it has Northern Territory. So this is known as Northern Territory. And what is the capital city? It is Darwin, it's right here. So this is Darwin with this uh, yellow color. D-A-R-W-I-N, Darwin. Um, when I hear the word Darwin, I remember with the name of Charles Darwin. Do you know who he is? I think he's an author. From the Northern ter Territory, we move down to the South area of Australia. It is known as South Australia. Jadi dikenal dengan Australia Selatan. This is South Australia. And the important city that is located in South Australia is known as Adelaide. Adelaide um, in Bahasa Indonesia. We call it Adelaide, but in English, you should call it Adelaide, Adelaide. Oh, so it's, it has interesting ways of pronouncing the name. Then we move to the upper right of this map. We have the area known as Queensland. So it has, uh, I think two, uh, to roots of this word, queen, and then land. So, and it has the word S right up here. It becomes Queensland, Queensland. So if you would say the word Queensland, so it has Queensland, it's not Queenland, Queensland. And the capital city of Queensland is in Brisbane here, uh, according to this, um, this map and the area is, uh, I think Brisbane, this is, this is bigger than the other areas shown in this map. We have Townsville, uh, Claremont, Rockhampton, Emerald, Gladstone. So from the name here in the, um, in the eastern side of this area, it has more um, European uh, names of the areas, I suppose, uh, compared to this left side of this map. Um, Coro Bay, Port Hedland, Lagrange. It has a French origin name, Lagrange, Rizzi Crossing, uh, Grand Desert to Sab Okay, perhaps, perhaps I took the map from this uh, French source. Now we move down further to the to the south part of the right map in this map. We have New, New South Wales, New South Wales, and uh, NSW. The countries, uh, the cities that are important in this New South Wales are Sydney, Canberra, and Melbourne. 
Mm. Sydney and Melbourne. And the capital city of Australia is here, Canberra. Mm. It was in Sydney, but then it moved to Canberra due to um, important consideration from the Australian government. Is, uh, is there any interesting picture of the map? Yes, I found this one is interesting. This is Tasmania, New Hobart. Tasmania is part of Australia. This is a small island uh, in the southern part of Australian map. Therefore, now we found that the meaning of the Australian flag that consists of six stars represent this area. Western Australia, Northern Territory, South Australia, Queensland, New South Wales, and Tasmania. All right, students, now you already know about the Australian map. We have, Australia has six areas that I already mentioned to you just now. And Australia has an interesting flag with these six stars, and there is a part of the Commonwealth countries. Now, I'd like to share with you Australia in brief. I took it from the Australian government, Department of Foreign Affairs and Trade. This information was taken from uh, the website of the Department of Foreign Affairs and Trade. And I'm going to share with you about Australia in brief and in detail. Uh, please remember that I have never traveled to Australia, so I will count my information on information that I received from reliable source. Jadi, saya membagikan informasi tentang Australia dari pemerintah Australia. Tepatnya adalah ini, Department of Foreign Affairs, uh, Department Luar Negeri, dan Perdagangan. So, this is uh, published by the Australian Unlimited. So, please stay listening to me from the beginning to the end. Um, I will stop share and then I'm going to share with you the sources about Australia in brief from the Australian government. Um, I hope that you might have interesting question further. Um, I'd like to share screen. Okay, here it is, share, okay. All right, so I hope that you could see the, the view. Um, all right, I try to, um, to display full screen mode. I hope you could get it. So this is the full screen mode. Australia in brief. And this is the map of Australia. Mm, yes, this is Australia. So, what area is this? This is Western Australia. This one, Northern Territory. This one, South Australia. Queensland. This area is known as New South Wales. And this area is called as Tasmania. So, I know that Australia has six areas. Six. Tasmania. So this is five, the big island or big continent. Australia in brief. Um, okay, so this is so exciting. Now let's see in here. Oops, um, I'd like to zoom it. Okay, now so this is the content. Um, the content is from this uh, brochure or leaflet page six until seven. It has the overview about Australia. On page eight until 25, the information contains about the land and its people. We will talk, I'm going to share with you about history of Australia, Australia's national symbols, population, indigenous Australia, government, economy, 
and environment. On page 26 to 51, we will talk about uh, looking outward on page 26. It will be followed with information on trade, growth, investment, business, foreign aid, tourism, study in Australia, as well as defense and security. In other words, we will talk about Australia and the world on this page. So this is, isn't that a good picture? This is the area of the beach in Australia. So we will talk more about this later on. And what is this? This is the picture of a man. Um, I think it's naked. Um, for more, most people in Australia, this is art. It symbolizes the, I think it's masculinity or the sense of strength. We will talk about this. So on page 52 until 69, the topic will be about society and culture of Australia. We will talk about education, innovation, sport, creative Australia, healthcare, media, and communications. And the last part of this information from the Australian government is related to visiting Australia, visa and immigration requirements, and quarantine. I, I don't know, I'm not sure about this quarantine, but we will talk further about this one, okay? Now I'm going to uh, move to the next uh, point slide of this information. Okay, now here it is. Uh, make it bigger. So, right now, the full title of Australia is Commonwealth of Australia, and the capital city is Canberra. See, uh, ini sudah saya display tadi di peta Australia bahwa ibu kota kan ibu kota Australia adalah Canberra sementara kota Sydney bukan ibu kota Australia Sydney adalah kota kota besar dan kota terpadat yang ada di Australia largest city this what it says so the largest city is Sydney population is 4.92 million in 2015 and population in general is 23.94 million in December 2015. Nah, jadi pada bulan Desember tahun 2015 populasinya adalah 23,94 million. Nah, the surface area is 7. Point, uh, sorry there was an interruption uh, the sound of the ringtone. Um, I move on. So the surface area is 7.69 million square kilometers. So ASCII means square. Jadi tu, area benua Australia itu tersebut adalah 7,69 juta square kilometers atau uh, dengan ukuran mil yaitu 2 juta, 96 juta uh, mil. Proportion of population born overseas 28.2%. It is in the month of June 2015, bulan uh, Juni tahun 2015. Um, populasi uh, yang lahir di luar negeri 28,2%. Sementara bahasa utamanya adalah English, uh, more than 300 others. Oh, ternyata di Australia bahasa utamanya adalah bahasa Inggris. Sementara di negara Australia juga memiliki 300 bahasa lainnya yang ada di Australia. Artinya Australia adalah negara yang menerima imigran atau pekerja dari negara-negara lain. Currency atau mata uang adalah Australian Dollar, AUD, and it symbolizes with this, AUD. Life expectancy. 84 years for women, 80 years for men. Jadi untuk wanita berusia 84 tahun, sementara untuk pria 80 tahun. Nah, ini rata-rata usia atau umur orang Australia. Gross domestic product per capita is 
1660 Australian dollars tahun 2013. Jadi gross domestic product per capita 64660 dolar Australia itu di tahun 2013. In terms of the workforce, we have 11.9 million di bulan Mei uh, tahun 2016. Uh, workforce ini adalah tenaga kerja. Um, sementara inflation rate is 1% June 2016. Value of export of goods and services is 316.6 billion Australian dollars. And major import, ini import utamanya adalah passenger motor vehicles, refined petroleum, crude petroleum, telecom equipment and parts, as well as computers. So, jadi ini adalah benda-benda impor utama yang uh, dari Australia. Kemudian, main trading partners, ini um, pasangan apa uh, rekan kerja dalam hal dagang, yaitu Cina, Jepang, Amerika Serikat, dan Republic of Korea. Untuk waktu, di Australia terdiri atas tiga waktu. We have Eastern, GMT plus 10 hours, and Central, GMT plus 9.5 hours, and Western, GMT plus 8 hours. Nah, jadi ini tiga waktu yang berlaku di Australia. For the national day, we have January 26. So, 26 January adalah hari nasional di Australia. So, it can be it's a, a holiday so important day for most Australia and Australian government. Households with internet access, 83% June 2013. Jadi bulan Juni 2013 jumlah jumlah rumah tangga atau keluarga yang memiliki akses internet adalah 83%. Jadi kalau dibandingkan dengan Indonesia kita masih jauh di bawah ya. Um, karena harga HP juga cukup mahal, kemudian biaya internet juga cukup mahal. Melihatnya itu menengah ke bawah karena lebih dari 65% orang Indonesia terdiri atas ekonomi menengah ke bawah. Ya. Nah, sekarang kita lihat international students in Australia di tahun 2016 jumlahnya sebanyak 440.949 orang. So, are you excited to study in Australia? I hope uh, that you are. So, this okay. It's Uh, salah satu komponen terbaik untuk menjembatani negara Indonesia dengan negara lain, termasuk negara Australia, adalah melalui sektor pendidikan. Nah, uh, well, currency wise, tentu kita berharap akan banyak support dan dukungan dari berbagai macam pihak ya untuk pelajar Indonesia yang ingin belajar di luar negeri, tidak hanya di Australia, juga di Inggris, uh, dan juga di Amerika Serikat. Okay, now let's we move on to the next information about Australia. Now, let me make it bigger for you, this area. Uh, all right, so here it is. In terms of the overview, Australia is a country of striking landscape a rich ancient culture and one of the world's strongest economies. It is the sixth largest country in land area and is the only nation to govern an entire continent. So that is impressive. Did you know Australia is the fourth largest economy in the Asian region and is the 12th largest economy in the world? Jadi secara ekonomi untuk Uh, as regional Asia, Australia berada di posisi keempat. Sementara kalau di dunia, Australia berada di uh, urutan ke-12 untuk ekonomi yang terbaik di dunia. 
With a spectacular natural environment, high quality of life and great diversity, Australia is a sought after destination for international tourists. It has 10% of the world's biodiversity and a great number of its native plants and animals exist nowhere else on earth. From tropical rainforest in the north to the red deserts of the center, from the snow fields of the south east to the Australian Antarctic territory, it is a vast and varied land. Australia has many world heritage sites, including the Great Barrier Reef, Uluru Kata Chuta National Park, and the Sydney Opera House. I hope that you can get this point. Jadi kita bisa menangkap ya ternyata Australia tersebut memiliki 10% kekayaan dalam bentuk biodiversity dan kebanyakan dari tanaman-tanaman dan binatang-binatangnya itu berada hanya ada di Australia dan tidak ada di negara-negara lain seperti kanguru, koala, binatang-binatang um, tersebut dominan hidup di Australia. Sekarang kita lihat, Australia is home to one of the world's oldest living cultures with aboriginal communities established nearly 60,000 years before European settlement. Today, Australia is one of the world's most multicultural countries rich in indigenous and immigrant cultures. Nah, Awalnya katanya Australia adalah home, ya. jadi home ini istilahnya rumah atau tempat hmm, dari budaya-budaya tertua yang ada di dunia. Salah satunya adalah budaya komunitas aborigin yang ada 60 ribu tahun sebelum orang-orang Eropa datang. Artinya benua Australia, Australia ini dulunya memang ditinggali oleh uh, aboriginal, orang-orang aborigin dan yang telah memiliki budaya aborigin. Nah, namun kemudian masuknya orang-orang Eropa ke benua Australia terjadilah berbagai pergolakan dan yang menjadikan Australia seperti sekarang. Nah, katanya Australia adalah hmm, salah satu negara yang paling multikultural, kaya dengan budaya-budaya indigenous, indigenous ini maksudnya budaya-budaya lokal yang sangat bervariasi, serta budaya-budaya yang dibawa oleh imigran. Menarik ya tentang Australia. Um, now we we move on. Oh my God, my mouth. Mm, All right. Um, <laughs> I'm just so excited to read this. Sunset at Mindel Beach, Darwin. Oh wow, this is exciting. This is Alan Dixon Tourism Australia. Hmm. Uh, what about this one? We wouldn't have picture here now. All right. So this is Sydney Harbour. Oh, I wish I could go here one day. Sydney Harbour, Eleanor Argyropoulos, Tourism Australia. Um, all right, now let's see what do we have here. Australia is a nation of boundless opportunity in a country of endless potential. A nation that is open for business. Open for business. Okay, jadi terbuka untuk bisnis ya, secara ekonomi dan transaksi. Australia is a successful and prosperous nation, ranked second in the United Nations Development Program's Human Development Report 2014. Australia's economy is consistently ranked among the strongest of advanced economies in the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development. It is the world's 12th largest economy and a top performing nation on almost every measure of excellence from health to wealth, from ease of doing business to educational attainment. With low unemployment, low inflation and a highly skilled workforce and with a strong link with the fastest growing region in the world, the Indo-Pacific Australia's economy is said to prosper well into the future. Good to hear about this. Jadi ekonomi Australia di tahun 2014 termasuk ekonomi terbaik di peringkat kedua yang dinilai oleh PBB ya khusus bagian Human Development Program atau Human Development Report laporan perkembangan manusia. 
um, this is what the economy of Australia. Jadi ini katanya ada low, jadi pengangguran yang rendah, kemudian inflasi yang rendah, serta tenaga kerja yang sangat berskill tinggi, kemudian kuatnya link dengan um, apa region di dunia, fastest growing, jadi Australia ini ternyata tidak menutup diri dari perkembangan dunia yang di luar. Indo-Pacific Coast Economy katanya um, is set to prosper, ini bisa prosper, pemaju, dengan baik di masa depan katanya. Kita lanjut. Australia's foreign and trade policy promotes security and long-term prosperity. It seeks to protect and advance its national interests in a rapidly changing environment while supporting a stable global order. Australia has been integra integrally involved in global efforts to build peace and security for decades. Just as it has in promoting global trade and investment liberalization. Australia is a good internal citizen, helping in times of crisis and supporting economic development in its region. Okay, this is good to hear. Australia's foreign katanya ini kebijakan uh, asing atau perdagangan Australia, uh, termasuk mungkin dengan Indonesia, mempromosikan uh, prosperity atau hubungan ekonomi secara baik dan keamanan dalam jangka panjang katanya. Jadi tujuannya adalah untuk saling melindungi national interest, kemudian lingkungan yang uh, berubah, kemudian um, di tingkat global secara stabil, saling mendukung. Kemudian Australia juga mendukung dalam program uh, kedamaian dan perdamaian global trade serta investment investasi dalam bentuk liberalisasi. Australia adalah uh, warga negara internasional yang baik katanya, membantu uh, pada waktu krisis dan mendukung perkembangan ekonomi di area. Berarti Australia berada di uh, region Asia, berarti Australia membantu ekonomi yang ada di tingkat Asia. So isn't that exciting? Okay, so now that is in the overview of Australia, which is more closely related to the economy. Did you know Australia is the world's third most popular destination for international students? Yes, I agree. Jadi Australia memang uh, tujuan belajar terpopuler urutan ketiga bagi seluruh pelajar di dunia, pelajar internasional. I agree. Totally agree. Next, we move on, the land and its people. Wow, this is exciting, look at here. The land and its people, history. Nah, kita lihat sejarah dari Australia. Hmm. Did you know, Australian indigenous art is the oldest ongoing tradition of art in the world. Hmm. Seni indigenous Australia katanya, ini adalah tradisi uh, tertua, tapi yang masih ada sampai sekarang di dunia. So this one of the oldest. Australia's Aboriginal people, the original inhabitant of the Australian continent, arrived at least 60,000 years ago. Wow, amazing. Jadi orang-orang Aboriginal yang ada di Australia saat ini, mereka inhabitant ini maksudnya orang-orang tinggal pertama kali di, di benua Australia, dan mereka telah ada di benua Australia sejak 60.000 tahun yang lalu, bahkan sebelum orang-orang Eropa datang dan jauh sebelum Australia didirikan sebagai sebuah negara. Now, let we read this together. Parts of the continent were mapped by Dutch navigators in the 17th century and by French and British navigators the following century, but it was not until 1770 that Captain James Cook thought that the East Coast and climate for Great Britain. Hmm. Jadi bagian dari kontinennya itu uh, dipetakan oleh uh, pelayar atau navigasi orang Belanda pada abad ke-17. Dan juga navigator dari Prancis dan Inggris abad ke-18. ya Berarti kan following century berarti abad ke-18. Tapi tidak sampai pada tahun 1770 di mana Captain James Cook started katanya bagian East Coast itu bagian dari Great Britain. East Coast ya pantai timur. Kalau pantai timur berarti itu katanya di mana? Di Western Australia berarti. Uh, 
Oh, it, no, that's uh, New South Wales. That's probably the area of Sydney, uh, Canberra. So that's Great Britain. From 1788, Britain established a panel colonies in New South Wales. See, I was right. New South Wales, Tasmania, and Western Australia. Free settlers followed in increasing numbers, gradually outnumbering conflicts. A colony made up entirely of free settlers was established in South Australia in the 1830s. Jadi pada tahun 1788, the British katanya menetapkan daerah New South Wales, Tasmania, and Western Australia. Itu berarti bagian bawah dari benua Australia itu ya sebagai area untuk di koloninya sampai uh, pada tahun 1830. Queensland and Victoria separated from New South Wales in the 1850s, by which time gold has been discovered in New South Wales and Victoria. The gold rush brought immigrants to Australia from all over the world. Pada tahun 1850 ditemukan banyak emas ternyata di daerah New South Wales and Victoria. Itu ternyata yang menyebabkan banyaknya para imigran yang datang ke Australia pada tahun tersebut. Yaitu tujuannya untuk menggali emas. Mm -hmm. Wow, great. This is interesting. Now look at this picture. This is the picture of Convict Era Building, Kingston and North Isfell Historic Area, Norfolk Island, Mark Mohill Department of the Environment. So this is the picture. Look at this. This is very traditional, but this is this is real. Yeah, it's just I think the government of Australia has uh, secured this area uh, to be proof of uh, the existence of this. The existence of the Kingston and Office well, historic area. In 1901, um, in 1901, the six colonies united to form the Federal Commonwealth of Australia. Um, please ignore that sound. <laughs> From 1914 to 1916, more than 400,000 Australians volunteered in World War I. Although Australia's first major campaign in Gallipoli in 1915 was a failure, with almost 9,000 Australian soldiers losing their lives, its commemoration came to be an important element in the emergence of the Australian national identity. Jadi, sejak tahun 1914 ke 1918, lebih dari 400.000 orang gabung ke dalam Perang Dunia Pertama. Jadi, uh, kemudian, the signing of the 1919 Treaty of First Islands by the Prime Minister was the first time Australia had signed an international treaty. In World War II, 1939 until 1945, Australian troops were deployed against the Axis powers in Europe, North America, sorry, North Africa and the Middle East, and they aligned with the United States in the Pacific War against Japan. On 1 November 1945, Australia became a founding member of the United Nations. In 1951, Australia entered into the ANZUS Treaty with the United States and New Zealand, and in 1957 signed an agreement on commerce with Japan, which underpinned Australia's increasing engagement with Asia. Over the past 50 years, Australia has developed a highly diversified economy with considerable strength particularly in the mining and agricultural sectors, as well as manufacturing and services. And it has become increasingly economically integrated with the countries of East Asia. Jadi, bisa kita pahami ya bahwa pada tahun 1919 dan Australia tersebut juga pernah ikut di Perang Dunia Pertama, Perang Dunia Kedua, kemudian Australia juga pernah berperang dengan Jepang dan Australia gabung dengan Amerika Serikat. Uh, dan pada tahun 1945, ternyata 1 November 1945, Australia termasuk kepada negara yang juga membangun atau mendirikan organisasi yang disebut United Nations atau PBB. This is, I think that's important information that you need to know. 
Did you know there are more than 3,000 convict sites remaining in Australia? This is unique in the world today. In 2010, 11 Australian convict sites were added to the UNESCO World Heritage List. Jadi prestasi Australia adalah hmm, perhatian negara Australia terhadap tempat-tempat bersejarah telah menjadikan tempat-tempat tersebut masuk ke dalam ini UNESCO World Heritage List masuk daftar uh, tingkat dunia UNESCO. Jadi mungkin kita melihat pada kondisi sekarang tempat-tempat tertentu mungkin sepertinya tidak terlalu terperhatikan, tapi jika kita melihat ke belakang ternyata tempat-tempat tertentu yang ada di Indonesia memiliki nilai-nilai sejarah. Jadi nilai-nilai sejarah tersebutlah yang dipertahankan oleh pemerintah agar menjadi bukti sejarah eksistensi dan keberadaan Indonesia ke depannya hingga ke generasi tahun 2040 seterusnya. Ya. Okay, now that is about the people of Australia, the land and its people. Shall we move? We move on. Okay, now we come to this information about Australia's national symbols. You see, this is the Australian flag. The stars of the Southern Cross represent Australia's geographic position in the Southern Hemisphere. The large Commonwealth star symbolizes the Federation of the States and Territories, and the Union Jack reflects Australia's early times to Great Britain. Is this Union Jack? Oh, this is called Union Jack. And this is the area of Australia here. And that's the, the large Commonwealth star, this one. And one, two, three, four, five. So this is five areas, Southern Cross. So this is the symbol of the Australian flag. All right, now we come to the national colors. Australia's national colors are green and gold, green and gold. The colors of its national floral emblem, the golden rattle. So this is Acacia pinkanatha bent. Uh, this is the biological name of this flower. The coat of arms. The Australian coat of arms consists of a shield containing the badges of the six Australian states, symbolizing federation in the national symbols of the golden rattle, the kangaroo, and the emu. By popular tradition, the kangaroo is accepted as the national animal emblem. The golden rattle was proclaimed in the national, uh, sorry, the golden rattle was proclaimed the national floral emblem in August 1988. Wow, so, so this is the symbol, ini symbol-symbol dari Australia, bendera Australia, kemudian Warna nasional Australia adalah warna hijau dan keemasan. Kemudian ini adalah simbol uh, Australian coat of arms. Sementara national anthem of Australia adalah Advance Australia Fair has been Australia's official national anthem since 19 April 1984. Australians all said, uh, okay, let me read you the lyrics. Australians, all let us rejoice, for we are young and free. With golden soil and wealth of full toil, our home is skirt by sea. Our land abounds in nature's gift of beauty rich and rare. In history's page, let every stage advance Australia fair. In joyful strains, let, then let us sing advance Australia fair. Beneath our radiant southern cross, we'll toil with hearts and hands to make this commonwealth of ours renowned of all the lands. For those who've come across the seas with boundless planks to share, with courage let us all combine to advance Australia fair in joyful strength and let us sing advance Australia fair. Uh, January 26 adalah Hari National Australia. Kemudian, the date is the anniversary of the unfurling of the British flag at Sydney Cove in 1788. Libur Nasional di Australia terdiri atas um, 12 public holidays a year, including New Year's Day, Australia Day, and Anzac Day. Apa itu Anzac Day? Anzac Day, 25th of April, is the national day of commemoration for all Australians who have fought in wars. 
With this the day, the Australia and New Zealand Army Corps ANZAC landed at Gallipoli in Turkey in 1915 during World War I. To mark ANZAC Day, Australians and New Zealanders attend ceremonies at home and around the world, including in Gallipoli. In 2015, Australia marked the century of the ANZAC landing with a ceremony at Gallipoli. Okay, so we have talked more about um, the land and people of Australia, Australia's national symbols, national anthem. This kind of uh, information is very important for us to know more about Australia. Saya sudah membacakan informasinya dan kita akan melanjutkan informasi berikutnya tentang population, indigenous Australia, government, economy. Um, this is the sweet and cute kangaroos. Uh, we will talk more about this in further details and uh, right after um, this one and I will explain it in part two. Okay, now um, that's my explanation for part one about Australia. It's going to be needing uh, many time. So I cut this part one until this point. Um, we meet again in part two, right after this one. Uh, we'll, I, I'm going to need a break for about five to 10 minutes. And after that, see you. And uh, let me close this one. I'm going to explain further about Australia in part two. Okay, stay tuned. Uh, silakan klik nanti video part dua tentang Australia. See you later. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.